I was around 11 years old, and I remember I was uh, in the living room in my, in my parents' house. My dad uh, told me that I was HIV positive. And I remember just looking around the room and, and um, looking at my mom crying, um, looking at my older brother who was normally picking on me and, and, and beating me up and uh, he was crying. And then um, looking at my dad who I don't think I ever saw cry before in my life and, and he was even crying. In the early 80s, the hemophilia community faced a huge medical crisis and tragedy. Somewhere around 90% of severe hemophiliacs contracted HIV from their medication, and even more contracted hepatitis C. Um, I have severe hemophilia A, um, which means I have less than 1% of the necessary clotting protein that my body needs to form a clot. So it was a scary time. Um, Joey DiPaolo in New York getting thrown out of his school the Ray family down in Florida getting their house firebombed and burnt to the ground. Uh, when the um, community found out they, the little boys were HIV positive. And these were all kids who also had hemophilia that, that contracted HIV. So I was pretty scared to let anybody find out about my status. So we kept it a secret. It wasn't until I went to college that um, I decided I, I could be more open about it. And I remember it was one day where probably the majority of other guys from our hall were in our room watching TV. One of the guys saw the medicine in our, our mini fridge and asked what it was in front of everybody. I knew that was the time I was waiting for and, and needed to be myself. And so I said I was HIV positive and um, the person asking the question said that sucks and things kind of just went on after that and as anticlimactic as it might have been it was such a great feeling to finally be able to be myself and not have to hide this secret from everybody um, it kind of felt like just right when I learned to live with um, HIV I then found out that I had also contracted hepatitis C and I remember going on treatment for hepatitis it was a, a, a sub Q shot once a week. The two to three days following that shot, you just felt like you had the flu. Luckily, it worked, and we still didn't use the C word cured, um, but um, I think it's pretty safe to say now. Unfortunately, one of the biggest issues that people living with hepatitis face is the stigma associated with it. Nobody chooses to get hepatitis, um, so it's important that we're there for one another, that we don't stigmatize the virus or the people with it, because there is no one face to the virus. Anybody can contract it.